Time now to check out BMW's all-new R1150RT. First introduced as a new generation 1100cc boxer back in the fall of 1995, BMW's sport touring twin went on to enjoy five summers as a perennial favorite among sport touring riders. This spring, BMW decided to roll out the RT with a larger, more powerful engine that features a fully controlled catalytic converter and a six-speed gearbox. There's also a new redesigned seat and fairing that sports a new tandem headlight system. But the big news with the RT has to be the new generation, third generation integral ABS braking system. Recently, we invited Colin Fraser of Inside Motorcycles to join us at the RT's North American press launch down in Austin, Texas. Well, Colin, typical press launch situation, R1150R with no fairing, RT with the fairing, and guess who gets the fairing? You do! <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me it was about half and half. But yesterday when we were here and it was in the 80s and humid, we weren't worrying too much about wind protection today. It's uh, overcast, cool, slippery roads, partially wet, hasn't rained here in a while. It's, it's a good way to test a motorcycle if maybe not the most pleasant riding experience. Well, uh, the RT's been around for a while, BMW's version of sport touring with a little heavier emphasis on touring. Uh, big news here, motor, a little bigger now. Well, I think uh, motorcycles always going to benefit from more power, and I in particular like more torque. I think these flat twins are fun to ride, responsive design of engine, and uh, just giving it more mid-range and pushing the power towards the middle really, really suits this motorcycle. Uh, more sporty than you might think looking at it. Uh, the handling of this bike is quite good. The suspension is taut and well dammed, and it's, uh, it's a pretty strong all-around motorcycle. And, and as I've said before about BMW Twins, until you've ridden one, you really don't know what you're getting into. How they look may not, in fact, be what the riding experience is like, because they do remind you of the BMW Twins for decades back, but they're quite tech now. The other big news last night, BMW was anxious to reveal the new braking system, third generation <laughs> You found ABS. the master cylinder. Before they didn't have that, you know, the brakes worked very poorly without brake fluid. <laughs> third generation ABS, and really, it's they've now got power brakes. Ser servo assist, computer controlled. It's uh, maybe not as technology driven as some of the car systems, not as intuitive, but very, very impressive. And I like the way the brakes work, as I mentioned to you before except maybe for the brand new Goldwing. I think this is the best system. Link braking for the average rider is a huge benefit. And the ABS, of course, whenever there's a question about traction, particularly if there's a situation where you might panic, i.e. bad traction and an emergency, you, you literally can't beat it. Nobody has the skills to overcome all those obstacles at once the way this system can just by its nature. And on this bike, it really works, really works. Yeah, I tried it a couple of times this morning. Years ago, I. Uh, Instructed for BMW and trying to set off the ABS was one of the toughest things to do because you trained yourself not to get to that point. But today, the roads were so slippery when we first left the hotel, I had a couple of chances to trigger the ABS. Now this one doesn't trigger as easily as the first of the three generations did, and it's uh, not as obtrusive in terms of how it changes, how quickly the wheel spins and the feel of the brake almost stopping. And uh, for most people, hopefully, you'd never need it. But boy, if you get in that kind of situation, you can stop faster. It, it definitely helps. Right. Now, what about in terms of fit finish? They've redesigned the cockpit a little bit. Uh, do you like it? I like, I like the wind protection. I think uh, probably of all the bikes with this sort of screen that's adjustable, this is the best one for me. If I put it all the way down, the blast hits me just at the bottom of my helmet. If I put it all the way up, the wind catches just the top of my helmet, but I'm still looking over it. So for someone my height, it's ideal. The mirrors seem kind of strange when you first look at the bike, but they're perfect. You have a really good view of what's going on behind you. You're actually looking just underneath your arms. and. Uh, if you're used to sport bikes where most of the time you're just looking at your shoulders and the sky, it's, it's really nice to have a good view from behind. Uh, the thoroughness of the package, the way it's integrated, the pegs, the luggage, the rack on the back, the heated grips, all these things that might sound kind of old and fuddy-duddy, but boy, a long day on a bike when you're doing a lot of things and trying to cover some miles too. Really good motorcycle and an integrity of design that very few other bikes have. Anything you didn't like? Anything I didn't like? Well, there's an argument that whereas the packaging of the fairing, the aero treatment is quite effective, the bars seem a little bit narrow. Yeah, you yeah. have that, my shoulders are squeezed in, which has happened on agree. other BMWs. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, I'm hard pressed to find anything to criticize about this bike. As I said, 
getting a fairing that works exactly right perfectly is hard to do and for me this one is perfect. Okay, well, since it's a perfect day for a bike like this, <laughs> let's continue. Thanks. Yeah, before it starts raining. Thank you, Colin. Time now.